Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo run on this week's Nightfall ordeal. Do not adjust your sets. I am doing it on a Titan. We are doing it on Solar and I am using the Whisper. You don't see that a lot in videos these days. It was meta about two years ago and I just want to see how it performs in this current climate. Now, because I'm using Solar, I will be using Thermal Overload and Surge Eater. Thermal Overload stops all of the Unstoppable Champions that are going to be in this. And Surge Eater, basically, every time I stop a champion, I'll get a grenade back. I'm also running a War Mind Cell build, hopefully with the Thermite grenade kills and all the Shanks have solar shields now, so the explosive damage, maybe I can get some War Mind Cells using Wrath of Rasputin. I also have a new button to play with, so if you hear this noise, I'm probably talking about Overload Champions, because there's a ton of them in here. So, when you first get in here, that this whole area is kind of peppered with snipers. You see these these guys on the, the sparrows, they can be really dangerous, but if you can take out a couple of them from here, as you see me do, then you're not gonna have to deal with them as you make your way through here. So we are there are three here, so we'll take these three if we can. And that means that we, we're possibly gonna have one right at the end to deal with all the way up on the second six. There's two sets of these uh these fonts of light you can see. Now there's six in each, each section, I think. So what we're going to be doing, we're set up for more ranged attacks. So we're going to clear these ads as a sniper over there. And everything we're going to do, we're going to do from range. Now, I, I made the decision to try and use the Whisper a couple of days ago, but I've been doing other stuff, so I haven't really been able to record this run. So last night, I decided I'll give it a go. And I was quite surprised at how it performed but I was quite surprised at how much I didn't actually need this during this strike you literally can do this primary only the only issue you're gonna come up against if you do it primary primary only is you're not gonna run out of ammo so because the scout rifle with the overload uh, build the overload mod on the arms because it's so strong I think if you're gonna be using that primarily uh, no pun intended if you're going to be using that more than anything else, then put a Scout Rifle Ammo Finder and Scavenger on just so that you constantly keep dropping primary. But as you can see, everything I'm taking here, I'm taking from range. I'm, I'm moving into the right position where I'm not going to get attacked. So, once you take these snipers and you've cleared this first section of the fonts, you're going to get your next kind of section of ads. So what we're going to do is we're going to take these two snipers and then that just leaves us a couple of groups in each group, you've got three solar shielded chanks and an elite drag with a kind of a solar cannon. There are going to be a couple of enemies at the top of the ramp. Now, the ramp is where you just see me aim at. I will call it out as we're going up there. This this sniper up here, it can be kind of hard to crit. So just take your time at getting that crit shot if you're using this setup. Again, I've got the War Mine Cell build kind of going. I'm not expecting to get tons of War Mine Cells, but the chance is good, especially at the boss. And this is the last of those guys that, uh, those heavy pike riders. He's the last of them. Now, you will have noticed I'm not getting my health back, and that's because attrition's on. So you will drop fonts of light, uh, and they will give you constant health regeneration for a couple of seconds so it kind of can help you if you need to go for ammunition as long as you're not taking constant fire that will help you do that the other thing as well is it's the solar kills of this subclass will actually give you your health back so it's it's a win-win the whole build really was geared the, the using the whisper i do try and use it as much as possible but you will see uh, and i will explain it's not as good as you would think for overload champions. Quite simply because if you're not constantly hitting them with something that's overload, they will just start to regen their health back and there is nothing you can do about it. So you really have to, uh, the couple of times I do use it on overload champions, I kind of get them down so they've got about a third health and it's a couple of hits with the whisper does it. What we're going to do here, and this is a great thing, if you, doesn't really matter what weapons you're using. If you leave one of these fonts of light up, then the ads and the overload champion, if you can actually collect the fonts, the 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 pulses, the ads, the big set of ads that come out, all, all the shanks and the, the the 
snipers and the overload champion won't spawn until you've collected all the fonts. So what I do here is I go up and there's some, some invisibles and you'll see me do this once or twice. You see how I'm I'm hitting him with a, that and then I'm kind of, you see there I've got, I, I kind of walked out of it so it's gone now but there you go. If you stand in one of those, every time you get a solar kill, especially with, well, obviously with bottom tree, every time you get a solar kill, uh, you're going to produce like a solar pool and you'll get sun warrior if you stand in that solar pool it will just it it won't disappear and it will regen your melee and your your grenade for you as long as you're in there fast a lot faster than you would be able to do it so if you see me stop inside one of them that's what i'm doing here i'm just going to burn the super and just clear these ads and leave hopefully just leave me and the the overload champion now i've got the power of rasputin on which is what why you will see sometimes these enemies uh glowing orange it's because power of rasputin basically they will take more damage from weapons when when they are when they're next to a war mine cell but you can see there and that is that is a really bad grenade we won't talk about it nobody's seen it i absolutely overload champions as i say my new button is going to be cool <laughs> i'm going to enjoy using it they they will teleport all over the place and and the reason the, the reason why primary is probably better for those is is because of what i said that that for some reason and you'll see it when they're still glowing the back of their head is glowing you cannot stop them again they are taking maximum damage but there is a point when the back of their kind of I don't really know how to describe it, but that kind of looks like the hair is glowing. The kind of hair at the back. The, you'll get a point there where you stun them again. Now, it's not an overload stun. You'll see here, if I can get it here. Just throw another grenade, get a reload. And there'll be a point here where I kind of... You see that? You stun them again. That stun stops them from teleporting. So if you're not constantly hitting them with an overload weapon or some sort of overload mechanic... They will then get a chance to teleport. And if they teleport to a different position and then teleport back to the position you were originally shooting them at, they will have full health. It's so annoying and there are so many overload champions here. It's it's ridiculous how many overload. I think this might be one of the most overload heavy uh, strikes in the game. Fortunately, it's not a really difficult strike now that we've found out different things about it. It's nowhere near uh, as infamous as it was. This used to be, you know, wh when it was the nightfall, you definitely had a few people of, you know, you said, oh, it's Exodus Crash. You would definitely have people saying, oh my God, Exodus Crashes. And that, they, they were correct, because it, it, it kind of is. But now it seems like, I don't know if they've dialed down the... the it really is just the champions at the big issue here because when you think about it, there isn't actually a lot here in, in terms of mechanics. So you can see there, I utilised the Whisper, but I mean, the problem is, especially with champions, they have to be almost kind of, you could have killed them anyway with your primary for the for the Whisper to be, to be good for champions. So this is really, if I'm being honest, this is the meat of this strike. So, you're going to be overrun at times, it's going to seem. And I just wanted to show, uh, you see there, I had a, I had a war mine cell. That's what I'm using the Whisper more primarily for, is not really champions, because they, they just don't respond well to not being stopped. I'm using it primarily uh, for long-ranged attacks, breaking war mine cells, and then at the boss, we're going to be doing a bit of that. And... Again, nobody's seen that grenade throw. I just managed, I just clipped the the corner. We want to get another stop on, on this champion. I'm, he is going to keep hitting us. So hopefully, there we go. And I've, I've got the crest of Alpha Lupi on. So every time I put a shield up, I'm going to get some health back. Voila. Exactly like that. And now we, when you come into this area, you've, you've obviously noticed there's going to be a, a, a ton of little lads. Now... There is a train of thought that they kind of congregate around the champions. That is a fallacy. They do not congregate around the, cha the, the champions. The champions will teleport into the same sort of areas that these ads are. And the ads can be really annoying because, as you'll have seen, 
they th constantly throw, especially just at this first part, they throw uh, grenades and stuff up here. So you're going to get those little guys that throw, you can see there. They move round to the right, just behind that rock in front of us. Also in this area, what you're going to have is you're going to have invisible marauders, right? Now, I, I kind of, I forgot about the marauders in this section, but it's per because I killed them all. Normally when you go down for, when you go down for ammo, you see there, I'm aiming up the top left because one normally just kind of waits up there, but they come and chase you. I was prepared with my melee. So, get on the plate, we start this section. What I'm trying to do is get it to about 15% and then get off. And that spawns the first two waves of kind of... Sometimes you just get the first wave of ads and you don't get the overloads. I wanted to get them all out at the same time. Now, this first overload is super aggressive. He will come charging up. He'll do a, Sometimes he'll do fast teleports right in your face, but then immediately teleport away. But as you can see here, he was like... And this, it, it felt like uh, watching, watching like a child play hide and seek. Like just... You know, you can't see me because I've got my hands over my face. He was just standing behind that pillar as if he can't see me because I can't see him. You know, so again, the 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 thermite grenades are really strong against these guys. But as you can see, I mean, the wisp and that wasn't. I've got obviously I've got the catalyst. That wasn't even utilizing the catalyst. The catalyst, if you, it, it basically gives you something called whisper breathing, which is box breathing on steroids. Box breathing procs, every time you aim, you aim in for a second, and then you get a high damage round. So whisper breathing is a variant of that where as long as you stay ADS, you will constantly, every shot will be like 20, I think it's 20% extra damage. Crazy amount of damage. So what I'm looking for here is a, a, a ton of ads to come here. My grenade hopefully will stop this overload, and I was hoping, and I did, I got a one mine cell. So now, because that champion's lit up, he will now take more damage. And hopefully the explosion does more damage to him as well. You can utilize those uh, those exploders, if they're, especially sections like that, if they basically group around the champion, once you stop the champion, switch to the whisper, and if you or switch to whatever heavy you're using, as long as it's not a sword. Uh... And, and, and smash those because the explosions, the chain explosions, will deal a ton of damage to the champions. Now, what we're looking at here is we've got one more little wave. Uh, I'm just kind of staying on here because I want all the ads out before the 50%. So, basically, the way this works, you get smaller waves, but you, you almost get an overload with every wave. You see, I didn't get one there. Uh, you get kind of smaller waves. Uh, and then at 50%, you get your first wave of barrier champions in. In fact, it's the only wave of barrier champions. It's about 51%. You'll see here, by the time you get off at 50%, it will be at 51 Now, what's going to happen here is you're going to get a ton of exploders. I tried to take out as many of them as I could before the, the barrier champions uh, shield them. An another thing is, you want to make sure at this section that you've got as much primary as you can get your hands on, right? So I'm just checking my primary ammo situation. I know I've got primary out there. Just take these exploders. And I'm switching because obviously I've got a pulse rifle. The primary ammo shared between the scout and the pulse. So I'm just going out and looking for uh, primary. See if there's any line about on the ground because you are going to be like swamped. Now... You're going to be swamped by overload. So what I'm going to do is just put three. You see there, I put three shots. Takes a takes a champion to about half. I didn't want to waste time by re uh, going back to the whisper. So I just I'm preparing now to break the shield again. Faster you break the shield, the better. And once you kill this barrier, you're going to then get a wave of uh, uns uh, overload champions. So there you go. Got an overload champion there. Just got some ads coming in. And what I would suggest is kind of backing away to the bottom of these stairs when the overloads come in. You're also going to get these kind of spear wielding, those guys, those fallen. Hopefully, if you can, don't don't go, don't go, take too many chances with those guys. 
But uh, hopefully if you can, entice someone at the bottom of the stairs, get a melee or whatever kill to try and get ammunition. Now I'm going to utilize my grenades and my super. And I'm just, hopefully, because I'm still hitting them with an overload, uh, hopefully I can get the kill. And there you go. My super killed one of the champions. And I've got my grenade back. I'm just going to throw my grenade. Get the war mine cell explosion, which killed some other ads. And you can see there, just by synergizing those things, we've got two, two overloads down very easily. Now I'm going to put a grenade on this overload, and I'm going to back away. I'm, I'm about as far back here as I can go, and hopefully, because I've put that little bit of range between myself and the overload, hopefully... Uh, they won't, sometimes they can, they can be really aggressive at this point. But because I've put a little bit of range between us, he never pushed me. Now if they come, to the, if they come up those stairs and they come almost to the, to the top of the other side of the stairs, get out of there. Do not stand and think that you can do what I've just done there, you can't. If they get, become too aggressive, then just back away in the direction you came. So... Where we are behind us, if I was to turn round, I would go down and then down to the left instead of just to the back of the stairs. So if they don't teleport to the front of the stairs, you can kind of, as long as you've already took one down, really difficult when they do this to try and get crit shots on them. But if you've got Whisper, you've seen then the increased damage that Whisper Breathing does com compared to just, you know, a normal shot. But because you've got ADS for about a second, it's sometimes it's not worth trying to go for the whisper breathing. But because I had to, you know, track him when he teleported, I got it intrinsically because I've been holding my aim down for so long. So no more barriers, tons more overloads, just overload city. Uh, and again, you now we've got an overload in because you can tell. Uh, but we've also got these guys, so I'm just going to, you know, because we're not getting my health back without fonts, I don't really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these guys. There's what overload. Just back away, back away a little bit. Now, if you're, you see there, I'm just trying to take these these vandals out. There is an elite vandal as well kind of ha hanging about here, but be careful because those, tra those shots, I mean, talk about tracking. These shots will follow you home and steal your dinner. It's, it's ridiculous how, how much they track. So we just put, there we go, we got the elite down, so now, got to be careful with this, this guy, so we've stopped him, try and get a grenade on him from there, and again, we just, the idea with any of these ads, any of these champions is, it's the same with unstoppables, they won't get aggressive if you keep your distance. Just put a couple of whisper shots on him, there we go, and now, again, we're just going to go and hoover up some, some ammunition. And that is the key. The, the key. the key to to taking champions is depending on your weapon loadout. That kind of dictates where you should be when you take them down. If you've got scout rifle sniper, then don't get too aggressive. You know, you'll see a lot of people that do. You know, and you might even play. You might do strikes with people that are charging through everything. I think. I think we all get annoyed at players like that. But the point is, they, their setup is built for that. You might try to follow it, and it might not work because your setup might not be for that. Play to your strengths; it's always the best way. So now we've got these these heavy shanks out, uh, and this is the the whisper coming to its own here because I can break their shield and then follow up with some high impact, uh, high impact shots. Now, after the fifty percent, you're going to get basically two more waves. You're going to get one at about seventy. And one at ninety, well, as is just before ninety. But you, after after this wave with the two heavy shanks, that is the last you'll get. So what I'm going to do is I'm I'm not really worried about my super, so I'm just going to see what I can get. I'm not I'm not thinking I'm going to kill everything out there, but we'll see what we can get. Just how much extra damage we can do, and as you can see there, there's an overload. If you took out the heavy shanks. We just need to. Stop this overload, we'll put a little grenade on him. And again, just take him from range. Just keep, see him critting him. Just keep putting that overload shot on him just to stop him from teleporting. And then you want to get another stop on him. As you see, we've just loaded up the Whisper again. 
two pings and that's good night and that's all the ads again the radar's going to let us know that we're we're free of ads after after that wave with the two heavy shanks and the unstop the overload that's it you won't get any more ads so just pick up all the ammo you're going to need and we're going to head through to this section now this section is is the same as like the start you've just got to get pulses you have to be careful because there can be ads fighting each other and there's also going to be heavy pikes if you follow the, the route that i'm taking here you will never really get bothered with heavy pikes so i get off my spiral here and just jump over here up to this ledge and once i get up to this ledge i as you see that guy there took that pulse i get my spiral and spiral straight off here to to this the, this pulse over the other side i jump off my spiral as i'm getting to it and it puts me straight into the tube and then just run up to the next one and that's us we're basically not a lot more till we get to the boss but what we are going to be doing when we get to the boss is because we've got a longer range weapon on i am going to be utilizing i don't really want to call it a cheese because you guys know anybody that's been following the channel for any length of time knows i'm not really a big fan of cheeses but it really is an exploit that's probably the bet it's it, you you're still gonna get hit you can still die here so you know it's not a cheese so when you get to this area we're gonna have a fallen walker which i'm gonna be honest can drain your resources if you if you don't do this you know i wouldn't say correctly but if you're not clever with this watch out for the ship as well the ship can still you know there's a fallen ship there it will still keep firing at you and it's nippy so throw a, i'm gonna throw a grenade now the there is a, a a giant vex minotaur here the minotaur is going to be going after the walker as well so because i'm i'm, I'm kind of hopeful that i'm going to get some heavy i'm just going to put a couple of shots on with the i don't want to burn all my shots with the whisper but just enough you know to put to make a difference against uh to get against the walker again the walker will shoot at you you can see there i moved probably just in time um you don't have to take any of these ads but another thing i will say if you put shots on any of the ads it gives you the points for them if if you kill the walker or if you know if the if the the, vet, the minotaur kills the walker anything you've killed that's still alive in this area will, will uh despawn and you'll get the points for it because you've damaged it. Now I was looking about there, I think I was getting shot from behind, but it's not. It's a, it's a little shank that's uh, that's uh, managed to encroach down at the bottom there. So again, as you can see, if you allow, if you break the shield and allow the explosion to kill whatever you've broke the shield, that counts as a solar explosive kill, and you can produce a war mine cell. So. One thing I will not say that I didn't realise, I thought I had on, is I always put uh, Fire Team uh, Medic, which basically, uh, on breaking war mine cells, gives you and your Fire Team your health back. I obviously forgot to put it on here. So make sure you've got that. That was really helpful. So uh, if you pause the video at the start, you'll see the other solo ones I'm using. I used Fire Team, I, I normally use Fire Team Medic, Global Reach, uh, Power of Rasputin, Wrath of Rasputin, Rage of the War Mind. That's that's the the fight. That's the mods that I use, obviously to get that uh, solar solar splash damage kills, uh, give you War Mind cells and increased explosions from War Mind cells. Now, when I get in here, I always do that. I always break that kind of uh, explosive barrel. Now he ran away here. I'm pretty sure he ran away, and I thought, oh man, he's gonna regenerate his health. But luckily, he just ran away. He didn't teleport, so he's still taking damage. So again, I've gotten pretty low. I just pulled the Whisper out, and that's him. When you're making your way up here, kind of the, the most difficult part here uh, is, is right before you get to the end, there's going to be two elite Vandal Snipers. You have to make sure that you take the one on the left. So I will show you exactly where I'm going to fight them from it does it does uh, afford you a little bit of cover see there i've got some heavy so uh, this is where i fight them go up here this kind of red box here use that as cover you can see I'm, i've got it between me and the end 
and I'm just waiting. You see there, I was I was ready for him. And the other sniper won't bother you uh, because of this red box and, and all the other cover. So I can I can take this one from relative safety. And there you go. It's just two of those uh, two of those uh, uh, wretches. So now we're going to utilize. As I say, it is a bit of an exploit. We're going to utilize this cover. So what I'm going to do is drop down into the area. And then I'm going to kill four of these exploders. And I'll leave one up. And then I'm going to find a way. And I'll show you how to get back up. I'm going to sh show you how to get back up to this spot. I'm going to explain to you exactly how this whole thing works. Right? And really, the war mine cells, you can, you can probably tell that up until this point, they haven't been really useful. This is where they're useful. The war mine cell build here is, is useful. Now, this can be a struggle to get up here. So you jump up on this and then up on top of here and back up to where you first came in. And then you want to walk up the left-hand side as high as you can get without falling back down and then jump round. Now, that is where you're going to jump. I was lucky enough, I actually made it back in here. I'm just showing you exactly how far you can go up. You can't go any farther than this right here. And jump up and grab a hold of the, the top. And then jump up here. This is going to be your spot for the whole for the whole ninety percent of this. And again, I'm going to show you exactly why, what, where, and how. So once you've taken out that last explorer, you'll get that kind of flash of light, and that tells you that the boss is here. Now, I, there's only a couple of points that will always be the back left, middle, or right he comes from, and he kind of casts a bit of a shadow. So what I'm going to do here is I'll. I'm going to wait for him to stop moving, and then I'm going to ping his head with a couple of whisper shots. I got the three, so it reloaded the, the magazine. So again, I'm just going to let it charge, let him stop ducking about. And there we go. We got we got my three shots on him. Now there's going to be a, a whole bunch of ads in this area. What we want to do is produce a war main cell. Right? See the war main cell there? Because if I break that war main cell... It just clears a whole heap of ads. And you can see I produced another war mine cell. Which will break, which will kill a whole other set of ads. So now, I'm just going to put the last shots on the boy. You see, the I've got burning cells on as well. So I kind of get to see what ads are where. Now, again, there's going to be a whole bunch of ads come in. You're going to get some two, a couple of barrier champions. I think I ended up with three all in. There's the boss. And just looking about to see what's what's happening. There's the, the champions. Now, this is where it gets tricky. Because you are... It's, it, tricky's the wrong word. Uh, you are going to run out of ammunition. Now, the way this kind of works is if you've been getting good kills, see there the boss slid him over? You, that, that's where it can get tricky. The reason I'm saying it can get tricky is because uh, of this. It's not tricky. You just have to accept that sometimes you're going to put all that ammo into, the, into one of those barriers. And they could, unfortunately, teleport into a place you can't shoot them. It just is what it is. So, picking, I'm picking and choosing my targets. There's the boss. I could use, I could use, uh, I could use the last of my heavy, and just get rid of them. There we go. And hopefully, if he comes back out, she does there. Now we're going to try and make him go again, unless unless one of the barriers shields him. Now there is, he has got a bit of health. Again, I could use my, uh, I could use my super. I'm gonna get throw on the grenade, and for some reason, the grenade hit hit something and just never went forward, which is uh, unfortunate. But you can see I'm running out of ammo. I've got no heavy. I've got a little bit of primary, uh, and pretty soon we're just gonna be left with pulse rifle ammo. The reason why I'm not like freaking out about it is because I've probably dropped a, a you know, I've got. Sniper ammo, finder, scavenger, you know, obviously you're going to get a heap of primary dropping. I've got no primary now. But what the game will do is, especially if you've got ammo on the floor, 
when I've heard someone call it something pretty cool, the ammo fairy. When the ammo fairy comes and gives you ammunition, it will give you any ammunition you've got lying about in that area. And if you've got heavy, it will give you heavy. So if you've got sniper ammo finder, uh, which I do have, I've got scavenger as well, there's a good chance if you've been dropping a fair amount of ammunition, there's a good chance you're going to get full heavy, which I kind of do. So I'm just putting that grenade down and seeing what it's going to hit. And again, what you want to do, you'll see me kind of, it looks like I'm hesitating with my shots. I'm not. I'm trying to leave myself enough ammo for when he brings his shield back up that I'm not going to, you know, I've got enough ammo to break his shield. I'm not like constantly hitting him and, and not getting, you know, not being able to continue that with the, uh, with the shield break. So again, we're just waiting. Hopefully when we get some ammo, I think it takes it, there you go. We've got full ammo and... Um, I never got full primary. I did get a fair little bit of primary, which is good. So now we just break his shield. Just keep doing it. I think at this point, I might not have noticed that I got the, the ammo back. Because I was so focused. Uh, he almost went into cover. Now I've noticed. He almost went into cover there. So here, just put a couple of nice shots on him. And then ch change back. And get this, the break. And I'm just going to use the rest of my pulse just to kill him. Now, this is where it gets interesting. This is where the interesting part comes. I'm just going to pop my super. And I'm going to try, if I can, and produce a war mine cell. I might not. But if I can. The reason why I'm throwing them at the floor is because now we're at the point. Where the adds will hide. And as you can see, I produced a war mine cell. And it's killed the adds that were hiding. Now, you'd have seen that flash. That flash suggests that the boss has came back. But actually what's happened is the boss and the adds have came back. So, there is a whole bunch of exploders. And this is where it's really difficult to track the boss. Now, I ended up finding the boss. You see, I'm checking below me because I know there's going to be some, some invisibles. But I'm struggling to see because normally what I do here is I leave all the exploders up. You see, I've got the boss. I'm tracking him here. I thought I was doing good here. He went and hid here. I normally leave all the exploding shanks up because when you hit the boss and... Uh, Managed to seize arm. And then I think he comes out here and he runs. And then I lost him. See what I'm saying? I I, I lost him and I couldn't find him again. I'm going to put... I normally leave all these exploding shanks up as I was saying. He's still behind there. But he ends up running and I couldn't find him. He's just disappeared. I know, I'll get this out in the end. I leave these exploding shanks up. Because they tell me when I've cleared all the ads. So every every time you get a different wave and all these exploding shanks, these electrifying shanks are up. When you've killed the last ad in that wave, all these all these exploding shanks explode. But I couldn't see because uh because of the electrifying floor, I couldn't actually see what was around. So I decided just to kill everything in the area. So that I could maybe scout the area out and see better, you know, as, you, as you've already seen, the boss kind of gives off a, a shadow when he's running. Well, I felt like with the, the floor being, being electrified, I felt like I couldn't see that shadow. You know, I, I, I was, it was impairing my vision. So what I decided to do here was shoot all the, uh, all the exp all the exploding shanks once and once I'd scoped out all the areas to see if I could see the boss and then I think at some point here roughly about when, when I start really going after the explosive shanks what I decided was I'm gonna I'm just shooting around these just to see if there's you know if I'm getting any splash damage on the boss but I think I decided roughly around here that what I was gonna do was explode all the shanks and then drop down and you see I'm getting hit Again, we just want, uh, you know, if we can get a cheeky war main cell, that would be, that would be nice. You know, didn't, didn't get one. 
but at least it showed me where some of the ads were. We didn't want to be overrun with ads, but now I've decided, let's just break all the exploders, uh, kill all the exploders, get my super, and then I'm going to drop down. Because I know that that was the last wave of ads. It's the final wave of ads I'm going to have to deal with. And I am hopefully going to get the finish on them with the Whisper. You know, I'll have my super, so we're going we're gonna to smash them with the super. But I am going to go over to the box on the left, just, just above where we're shooting. Just left of where we are now, that box there. We're going to go up there, just having another little scope to see if I can see them. And I can't. So we'll just take out the last couple of little exploders and then we're going to go down. Uh, I know that there's, there's more than likely ads right below me. But because of the Titan's big knee, I couldn't really see. So I just tossed a grenade down, just speculative. Uh, nothing. But uh, I, I am going to have to go down and, and, and take, take, take whatever I'm going to take when I get down there. So we're going to drop down. In, in, in a second, we're going to drop down, just make sure I've got a clear path to where I need to go. Uh, and we'll just break these couple here. Because if I do need to run, the last thing I want is a ton of exploding shanks impairing our pathway if, if I do need to run. I'm hoping not to, not to need to run. But, well, you never know. So, eventually... I'm going to have to drop down. That is what's going to happen. So again, I'm just doing my last kind of scout around any of these exploders that are left up. I'm just going to remove them. And you see there, now I'm starting to get a couple of ads spawning in. And we'll just take them from up here. I think I get one more. I'm just, Again, I'm just trying to get that war main cell. I'm still still dedicated to getting the war mine cell. I wasn't too worried about the score at this point. Because if you look at how much score you lose, you can kind of get to see that you'd have to be up here for quite some time before you went under the 100k. You really would have to, because you're only losing like 30 points a second. So to lose 28,000 points, so that's quite, quite some time. So you see, I'm going to go down, just save myself. And then, as long as I get out of that explosion, you see there's another ad there. Just kill him. Pick up that heavy. I've got my super, and I just seen... I seen my uh, radar kind of start to glow. Here comes the boss. I pop my super. Let's just get him in here. I'm in my super. I'm in this, this thing. You can see he's hitting me. But uh, the, any other ads that were there came as well. And he's ran away. I just used that to kill any other ads in the locate in the area. And now I'm just going to get on this box. If you maneuver around this box, see there. If you fall, let if you move opposite to where he is, he can't hit you. And now we'll just put some shots on him. And this is the final shot. Bang, twenty-one thousand, and that's it. That is my run on this week's. Nightfall ordeal with the Whisper. I have one more video to release this weekend, which is my solo flawless Shattered Throne. I'll get that up tomorrow. Uh, and that will be the last piece of content before the start of the new season. Obviously, there's going to be a ton of content when the new season comes in. So if you're new to the channel, why not stick around and, and, and join the family? Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, leave a like. That's always appreciated. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. And I will see you in the next video.